manga. Of course, you got to see the headband, because why not? Um, today we're going to be reviewing Konosuba and Explosion on this wonderful world. Basically, this is the side manga for Konosuba, um, which of course everyone knows about. And if you've seen any of my streams or anything, I've talked about in length how much I enjoy the series and its unique style of comedy. So I decided, hey, let's get the manga. I got the manga for the, uh, the official series. It was fine, I felt like. I felt like the art was a big downgrade from what was shown in the um, light novels. But that's fine. But this art here is phenomenal. That's probably one of the, one of the reasons I love volume one i have the first three volumes so i'm going to try to release them periodically throughout january and then i'll probably come back to them once i get to more you know because i'm not <laughs> rolling in money so i can't buy everything unfortunately but um let's talk about the manga so the manga itself is pretty self explanatory it's megamine's side story i guess megamine's own story and it takes place about a year before she heads to axel and meets cosma aqua and eventually darkness and i setting and we're getting back to the story it's it's basically megamine and union and Komiko just having little stories um, about the school. Of course, Megamine's still in school trying to learn explosion magic. Yunyu's trying to get intermediate. Megamine's actually always at the top of her class trying to, of course, um, learn 50 points for explosion. 30 more than it takes for intermediate, or there might have been advanced. I probably looked through it real quick, I guess. It's just checking. Um, it is advanced magic, and I guess that's what it means for crimson demons to become adult. It's weird. I mean, <laughs> I think part of the whole point of the crimson demons is that they are weird, but whatever. And I think we actually get a lot of good characterization for all the characters. Megami, of course, as prideful as ever. But here we see where she's really freaking poor. Like, Komiko goes out hunting every day. And that's actually how they find Chimusuke. Chimus Chimusku. Sorry if I mispronounce it. Um, um, and she tried to cook And she tried to cook him. <laughs> or her, I think. I don't know. I'm so sorry. But, of course, um, Megami, of course, bullies Union into giving her lunch. But I actually think one of the best parts about this, um, this volume is Megami and Union's friendship. I feel like it's really strong, and shows how shy Yoon Yoon is, even though she's trying to be friends with Megumin. And Megumin, although she's very prideful and probably won't admit it, is happy to be friends with Yoon I think that's a really, really cute part about the story. Of course, we also get um, some funny moments like um, Megumin and Yoon fighting, and then Megumin's like, Oh, I thought you'd fall for the first guy you, you'd call your friend. And Yoon's like, Well, you'd probably fall for the first guy who gave you food. And then those two things exactly happen later on in the story. It's just it's just fun foresh foreshadowing, of course. I think it, I think it's funny. I mean, I guess that's really all this book is. We do have a side story with Komiko, um, Megumin's little sister, for those unaware, um, who is basically with a with um, Wolbach's friend, I believe, Wolbach's familiar or something of that sort, who's basically Wol um, with the demon, and she is attempting to do a puzzle. Basically, um, spoiler alert for later on, Megumin has also done this puzzle, and it unleashes demons. And Komiko, um, as I've read all three volumes at this point, does do it in Chapter 2, and Volume 2, I mean. But that's for a different day, different video. We'll talk about that later. But yeah, I think that's all that there is to talk about this manga. It's fun. It's cute. It's it's just fun time with these characters that we've grown to love through the Konosuba manga, anime, or light novels. Whichever one you prefer. I've read all three, and they're always fun to read. Because they're all super different. And it is nice to get a prequel of Megumin in the story, and I'm excited for what happens after Volume 3, because I think um, at the end of Volume 3, Megumin actually leaves for Axel, because she was in the City of the Springs, where Season 2's final story arc happened. Uh, home of the Axis followers, those crazy people. We meet Cecilia, who isn't really introduced until Volume 8 of the Light novel, so we, most people do not know about her. But she's a fine character, I guess. I don't know, she's fun. But yeah, um, I'd probably give this an 8 out of 10. It's really fun. I'd recommend you go pick it up at your local bookstore, comic store, any of the sort. It's a fun little book, and I think it's I think it deserves an animation adaptation, maybe an OVA of some sort, a movie. I don't know. Tell me what y'all got to think. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Don't like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.